Hi guys, this is Connie's Creations, and today we have a package. So first off, let me explain why Connie's Creations um, is not in the video today. It's because since tonight it's going to be... 25 degrees she had to go last minute to get all our critters with uh, heat lamps and such so while she's doing that I'm going to be unboxing a Monopoly that we just got in the mail today and everyone knows that it's the Jake Show. That's me. And we're gonna open this box now. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Oh. Got my trusty, dusty scissors here. Since I. Um. I'm not very sure if I can be trusted with a knife. Which I do have my own knife, but obviously I'm not going to show that for all of YouTube to see. Now let's get this package open here. Oh boy. I totally have no clue what's in here. So, okay, first off, let's get this out of the way. Um... Of course, uh, my mom, I mean, Connie's Creations, is quite the fan of making creations. So this is actually wooden beads with faces on them, because she's going to be making some kind of craft that needs beads with faces on them. Oh yeah, let's just get that out of the way, since it's not what we came here for today. What we did come here for is this South Park Monopoly. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, I'm actually a big fan of um, South Park. I'm currently, um, let me think here, I think on season 21. And I've been somewhat binge-watching it for probably half a year now, so quite a bit. But, yeah, this is something that I have been wanting for a while because I do love Monopoly and I love South Park. So, let's get this opened. It seems that this one does have plastic but yeah let's take a look here at the box hmm so far first off I don't know what's up with this logo here can this even be called a logo I mean it is so damn simplistic um yeah now let's take a look at the back here hmm I mean, I did look at this online, but not too closely, really. Probably my bad, but... Ooh, so far, I'm not... I mean, I'm a little enthused, but... Not very enthused by what I'm seeing here. On the back of our box. Which, if you guys do want to know, um, Connie's Creations, she... Um, honestly, I don't know if she is a fan of South Park or not, but, I mean, I know she doesn't have a problem with it, but I have not seen her watch it, and whenever I watch it in the living room, she does not watch it with me, because yesterday I watched that new special, the Panderverse one, in which I was very excited for, but she sat down and watched for maybe, I think, like, the first 
15 minutes and then went to go do her diamond art so I don't know either she wasn't very enthused with it or she just really wanted to do diamond art uh, that cat there that is putsy and currently she's meowing because she wants out but it is cold outside it is rainy and wet and also, it's very dark, so she will not be going out right now since there is no one to watch over her. But, <laughs> putsy. Yeah, let's get this opened up here. Um, come on, box. Um... Yeah, the joys of trying to unbox stuff with gloves. Okay, there we go. So, all right, let's see here what we've got. Got our board in which, oops, sorry, camera. Okay, um, hmm. First reaction, I'm gonna leave it at a hmm. Let's take a closer look here. Alright, so first off, not um, too much creativity with the go. Okay, um. Um. Oh my god, okay. Um, alright. I mean, I do know all this stuff, but... Okay, they didn't change this. Which, I'm just gonna say, I know they don't change it on, like, most of them. But, man, there is, like, there is something they could have changed this to. They could have actually changed this to, like, the, the police station, you know? So, I'm giving them points there for uncreativity. Because there is something that they could have done for that. But, they just didn't. Free parking, um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if there is something they could have done for that, but, yeah, since there is no one to hold the board for me, I'm having trouble trying not to drop it. Okay, um, go to jail. Man, they could have, like, changed this to have Officer Bob Brady or the other officer guy that came in later seasons, which don't know his name because I don't really give a shit about him, but, um, yeah, I mean, come on, okay, like, that's getting two points for uncreativity. Um, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I'm just gonna have to say it. I'm, like, not too enthused with this. Especially this here. You know, a South Park, it's a new edition. Okay. Um, I don't see why they really put that on the board. Because, first off, we have South Park written right on the sign here. So why did we need to say it again? Uh, it's gonna get a thumbs down from me. Um, yeah, let's, um, actually, I'll scoot this over here, and now uh, let's look at our rules. I mean, it's same crap as always, you know, uh, you will play it right, um, no, I use my own house rules if I want to, but, um, uh, let's take a look at our houses here. Where did my scissors go? Okay. Now, they did not change the house shape. And did not change the hotels either, which... I mean, I don't know what they... I mean, they could have changed it, or at least, like, changed the colors to something a little bit more relevant to South Park. Which... For transparency, I paid $40 for this, mind you. Putsie. Shh. 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 
Okay, I'm just dropping houses, but um, yeah, same, just same houses you'd get with your standard Monopoly, so I am thumbs down for me. Not enthused with that, especially not for $40. Yesterday, me and my mom unboxed a Beetlejuice Monopoly, which I was actually very impressed with. But, you know, that was also $40. So, both of those Monopolies were at the same price point, but one of them used much more... You know, like, things different, things, like, actually relevant to the series that they're, you know, based off of. So, like, I don't know. And again, you know, dice, just absolutely, like, same dice you'd get with any of them, which... For this one, I don't know what they could have changed it to, but... I mean, they could have even just made the dice, like based off of the color scheme of, like, one of the main four boys, and I would have been more impressed with that than what I'm looking at here. Again, hotels, same shit. I'm just gonna say it as it is. Shit. All right, um, tokens here, first impression. They're a little bit smaller than what I thought they'd be, so... Not enthused with that at all, but let's see what we got here. Now this time, I do, or at least I should actually know what characters these are. Unless they did a bad job with them and just could not get it right. But let me put these down real quick. First off here, who do we got? Um... Oh, it seems like that we have butters here, which, I mean, okay, I do like butters. But on here, man, it just, this really just does not, like, capture him, which I know it's, it's Monopoly tokens, but, like, these are such damn simplistic-looking characters, and yet, you can't even capture, like, you know, their whole vibe in, like, you know, like, the half an inch you're given here. You know, like, not impressed with that. And also, on our molding here for the inside of the box, there is not a specific thing for the tokens. So, that just shows how little that the tokens actually mean. All right, next we have token as a token. Um, <laughs> I mean, okay, this one, I did it. I don't, I don't know. Eh. But I mean, honestly, though, okay, maybe in like the much more recent seasons, token is like a more important character, but. I feel like maybe they could have picked someone else. But I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of Token. Alright, let's see who we got next. Okay, we got Kenny. Which... Okay, for Kenny here, I feel like... They did do a bit better with. But I mean, then again. I mean, how can you screw up with... Kenny... I mean, I don't know. I'm sure one of you viewing this video is going to be like, Oh my gosh, they absolutely just did awful with Kenny. So, I don't know. Up the interpretation. Next, we have Kyle. Which, who? Kyle is looking like a... He is looking like a damn pile of melted ice cream. Like, he's just looking all jacked up and wonky. So, like... Man, I, I'm not even going to question how they managed to screw that up. Next, we have Stan, which, I mean, okay, I mean, like, um, I'm not going to say I'm impressed, but 
I'm just glad they didn't screw it up too much. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is like... Let's look at our last one here. All right, last but not least, we got Cartman, which... I mean, okay, this is gonna sound bad, but, like, Cartman, he's one of my, like... He's my favorite out of, like, the four main characters other than Kenny because, like, I'm just a big fan, you know? Like, characters that cause conflict in the plot, like, man. But, like, yeah, like, Cartman, eh, I mean, I don't know. Something about this just feels kind of off, which... For forty dollars, I'm, I'm really like not impressed with these tokens here. I don't know. This feels like it. Like if I ever did play this Monopoly with like any of my friends, I might just offer them to like play with different tokens because we have done that before. If the tokens would just you know absolutely just we don't like them, so. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling for that. Um, let's do our money next. Now, I did see the money on the back, which... I mean, okay, I did kind of dig the money, but... Let me just take a look at that. Because, I don't know, maybe they, like... I don't know, I mean, if they found a way to screw up all this other stuff... They might have screwed up with this. Which... Also, though, this plastic, not a big fan of plastic waste. You know, like, really, who's gonna steal the Monopoly money? I mean, come on, bro. Which I know, you know, maybe the plastic is for reasons other than theft prevention, but can't they find a better way? I mean, I've seen some games where instead of having, like, you know, the cards in, like... The plastic, they have them in a rubber band, which I don't know if that would necessarily work out for Monopoly money since it is very flimsy and it's just made out of literal paper, but I mean, hell, Monopoly as in the company, aren't they like a million dollar company by now? I mean, good grief, Monopoly has a monopoly over monopolies, so can't they figure something out? All right, so for our first money here, we got the ones with Kenny, which... <laughs> okay, that is funny. Um, <laughs> all right, next we've got the fives with butters, which... <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> then we've got the tens with Stan... Which, okay, I am a bit enthused by the money. We got the <laughs> 20s with Kyle. Okay, um, we got the 50s with Wendy, which, okay, I also do really like Wendy, so. Yes, and then. Our hundreds. <laughs> We've got Cartman. And for our 500s, we've got Token, which, okay, again, not a big Token fan. Like, honestly, like, okay, in my personal opinion, y'all can say that I'm trash for this, but I feel like they could have put Cartman on the 500s. And then put, like, Jimmy on the 100s because, like, I love Jimmy. I think he's funny. So, yeah. And then, last but not least, we've got the other cards. Which, for this, this goes along with my example of they could have used a rubber band for this. You know, like, you know, no plastic waste. And then everyone would be Chile, right? 
And I mean, you know, you can say like, ooh, rubber bands, they're plastic, but like, you know, that's a lot less plastic than this. And I mean, even with rubber bands, like, I don't know, maybe it's just cause like, you know, I'm like poor and shit, but like, you know, like I keep the rubber bands from stuff and I reuse them, which might sound a little like loserish, but like, you know, like, I don't waste anything. All right, so we've got our uh, property cards here. Let's take a random one and look. Um, not going to look at that one because I haven't gotten that far into the show yet. Wow, Canada. I just dropped the damn stylus for videos. Okay, got Canada. Wowzers. Yeah, for this... Not really too impressed with these property cards, you know, I mean, they're okay, but considering that I'm not really impressed with, like, anything else here, you know, that's gonna be a, like, thumbs down for me. Okay, and we got the snacky s'mores, you know, um, <laughs> I mean, okay, maybe they're... Maybe we got some funny stuff on these. <laughs> I'm not gonna read this stuff out loud, cause like, man, I'm not a reader out louder. My mom, I mean, Connie's creations is the reader out louder, but yeah. And we got them, and then we got the cheesy poofs. Hey, anyway, let's see what's going on here. <laughs> okay, they got they got funny stuff on the cards, which is something that I'm noticing with a lot of these monopolies is like they've always got funny shit on the cards, but then like the quality of like the other stuff is just like not really like forty dollars. So it's kind of making me question if like Idiots are, like, just buying this stuff, you know, but then they played because, oh, you know, the cards, they got funny stuff on it, you know, so, like, <sighs> yeah, I mean, for collectors, I'm gonna say this is, this is a flop, I, I mean, I genuinely did want to be enthused by this, okay, but, like, m like, man, I'm sorry, but, like, <laughs> Just, like, the quality of this, it, it was not worth the $40 off of Amazon. And, like, overall, I'm just not very impressed with, like, the amount of creativity because they definitely could have used more, but did not. <laughs> so, I need to grab my stylus off the floor here. Alright. <laughs> so... I don't know, what's my overall opinion on this? I would say I formally am giving a not impressed. And because I am so unimpressed with this, I might actually make a review on Amazon saying that I'm in fact not impressed. Because, I mean, th this quality, man, not worth $40. I mean, the satisfaction that I got out of opening this was genuinely less satisfaction than I felt with my ex-boyfriend whenever I was sugar daddying him and giving him money just because he's begging me to. I wasted more money on him and felt more satisfaction on that mf -er whenever I was still dating him than whenever I felt unboxing this Monopoly. Man, what the hell has the world come to? Hmm. Yeah, not enthused. And I think if my mom was here to unbox this with me, I don't think she'd have much of an opinion on this because, again, she's not a South Park watcher. So I don't think she would have had much to really say about it. But as for me, 
not impressed which my ex-boyfriend um i do hate him very much i hate him more than this monopoly but still a hate nonetheless and i'm not very enthused by him either that mf -er emotionally abused me you know, was using me for my damn money, you know, and was using me for all this shit. But then whenever I break up with him, he's so heartbroken. He's like, oh, boo, where, where, take me back. And then I took him back, and I was not enthused by his behavior because he said he'd change, and damn it, he did not change. So, yeah, guys, if you liked this video, if you liked this video, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment if you was not impressed by this Monopoly. Or if you was not enthused by my ex-boyfriend's behavior. And yeah, guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.